This is my procedural project. For my project, I chose to bake chocolate chip cookies. For, the cho for these chocolate chip cookies, you will need two and one fourth cup of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, three fourths cup of granulated sugar, three fourths cup of brown sugar, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two cups of chocolate chips, and one cup of butter. First thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 375. While that's preheating, you want to mix your dry ingredients together. So you'll take an, your two and one fourth cup of flour and pour your one teaspoon of baking soda into your two cups, two cups and two and one fourth cup of flour. Then you want to grab your one teaspoon of salt and do the same and mix it. And then you want to mix it evenly until all ingredients are mixed. What you will need to do next is grab your one cup, your cup of butter and put it into a different a different bowl. Then you'll need to add your three fourths cup of brown sugar into the same bowl and a three fourths cup of granulated sugar into the same bowl. Then you want to add your one teaspoon of vanilla extract into the same bowl. Then what you want to do is you want to mix it until it gets creamy. Once it gets creamy, oh, oh. after your mixture gets creamy, you want to add both of your eggs in. Once your mixture is evenly mixed, you want to grab your dry ingredients that you mixed earlier and slowly pour it into the bowl. When you're done with that, you want to mix your two cups of chocolate chips into your mixture. Once you're done with that, you want to grab a cookie sheet or two depending on how many you make, and scoop them up into little balls, like this. And do it until the bowl is empty. Once you have 
made all the cookie balls, you want to put them in, in the oven for 9 to, 10, 9 to 11 minutes or until they are brownish golden color. Once your timer goes off, you take the cookies out and let them sit for two minutes to cool. Now let them cool. Once they have rested for two minutes, put them on the cooling rack. Then enjoy it with a cold glass of milk.